Hey guys, I uh, figured I'd uh, do a video diary, I guess, of what I'm doing. This is my uh, 1967 Ford Thunderbird. Um, I bought it about six to eight months ago. I'm doing a lot of work on it, uh, trying to get it running. Finally, just the other day, I did get it running. Uh, pretty excited. Um, the, uh, the back trunk, I'll show you a little bit before I fire it up for you guys. Back trunk, I had to go in through the through the uh, back seat because the previous owner had lost the keys. Uh, so I had to take the back seat out and and uh, get a, about three extensions to my socket wrench and, and uh, get through it that way. But uh, as you can see, um, I uh, kind of dismantled quite a bit of it. Um, take a look on the inside. Still a lot of work to be done, but for the most part, I would say the interior um, trims and uh, trim and stuff is pretty pretty nice. There's a floor. I've got a little a little hole right right there. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem to fix. Um, find a lot of stuff on on uh, eBay and things like that that would fix it. This steering wheel's got to go. I kind of want to. Put back the integrity of the, uh, the Thunderbird logo. Um, to get it running, I uh, put it. Took the uh, old uh, old one off, old carburetor off, and put a new uh, Edelbrock on there. Uh, it's a 600 CFM. Um, I added uh, quite a bit of stuff. I put in a uh, 750. Crank uh, battery replaced a lot of the parts to it. Um, put new distributor wires on it. I had a hard hard time getting it going, and the original wiring diagram, or the, or the firing sequence that I got for this car, um, told me to do it one way. Um, I hooked it all up, didn't work. Um, my neighbor across the street uh, mentioned it again that it could be wrong, and so I looked again, found a different firing sequence, and uh, that one worked. Um, I fired it, fired it right up, and let's let's get this thing fired up.